The next thing, grip is extremely important, right? People tell me, oh, well, you know, grip is not that great. You know, it's not that important. And then they, they do like, you know, super shit like this online and hit a target at 200 meters. I'm like, God damn, prove me wrong, right? The thing is this, guys, is that grip in combat shooting allows you that reset. In combat shooting, you know what a flip is? When you fire in the gun, it flips, right? If you have good grip, you're not going to have too much flip, and it's going to, and it's going to always go back to that front sight. So it's going to flip back to front sight. You're minimalizing that flip time, right? So the flip sometimes, if you have a weak wrist and you're flipping and it goes like this, oh Jesus, it goes that. Well, you're minimizing that where it's just kind of cycling back because your grip is so there, strong. Okay. So when I first came to uh, specialized units, they were like, dude, your uh, wrist is pretty weak. Right? So then he was trying to tell me because when you lock out that, that grip, right, you have to have a strong wrist. Everything else is loose. You just gotta have a strong wrist, okay? It made sense to me. So I, I took 15, 20 pound dumbbells, I'm like working my wrist, right? And in time, I barely need that gun. All right, so grip. High on grip. So what I want to stress is this. You almost want to shoot like this, right? If I can have control of this slide without, I want the gun as high on me as possible. So obviously I can't because the beaver tail and how this gun functions. So I'm going to wedge my hands here. I'm going to elongate my fingers as much as I can and with these two fingers right here, my middle and my ring, those are my power fingers. So when I grip, I grip like this. It's almost like I'm pulling my thumb up and I'm turning this energy over here. So I'm pushing the energy up and I'm pulling my thumb up. And look how tight this is underneath the beetle. Understand? So here, pull and grip it up and turn it up. You're going to feel it's going to lock into the point. Okay. Now, you see this space right here. Okay. I want to take this and I want to put it into that pocket. Understand? Put it into that pocket. There's no gaps in between there. I'm taking out all the fucking space. Okay. Taking out all the space. Now, what I'm going to do with these two fingers right here, is I'm gonna grip and pull back up. I'm gonna grip and pull back and tighten down on my primary. And I'm gonna let go the stress of my primary, like I'm letting go of the grip. If I, if I didn't have this hand, I mean, I have no grip on this gun, okay? So here and here, lock it in place and then relax this hand, okay? Let this wedge in. When people are like, well, what happened? You're firing with one hand. Or oh, shit, that's a whole different grip. Okay, so don't think about it like that. All right, so here, elongate the finger, pull it up, pull it up like this, pull it up. And then here, then with this thumb right here, you're gonna press down into the five o'clock position. The reason why we're doing that is because I'm putting a lot of pressure on this side of the gun, see? On this side of the gun, think about it, I'm twerking up in here, putting a lot of pressure on this side of the gun. So I need to balance the pressure on this side of the gun by using my drive hand, okay? Now the drive hand fits right here and it pushes down into the five o'clock position, gripping these two fingers right here, okay? Gripping these two fingers and push it down into a five o'clock position. Understand, this thumb right here, this thumb right here goes to right here on this bone line. You're not, you're not pushing this thumb down, you're just resting this thumb lightly onto the bone line, you understand? This space right here, you need to produce a little bit of space because that's slide lock. With my aggressive, with my aggressive grip right here, if I push down over the slide lock, it will never lock, see? Look, I can activate it. So if your gun is not, uh, if your gun is like slide locking back when you're firing, you got more rounds, you gotta adjust your, your gun. You gotta adjust that to work, okay? And today is, is all about learning yourself, right? Because 
How I adjust my grip, how you adjust your grip. How you adjust your grip, okay? But you have to understand the high grip on a gun. If you don't understand the high grip on a gun, then you will never control that gun. You have too many spaces, too many, too many pockets. The reason why I'm telling you to uh, put certain pressure points on it is you're reducing the recoil. There's harmonics on the gun. When you're firing, the gun is going to vibrate. I'm reducing the recoil on that gun based on, on my grip and what, how I need to torque this, this gun. Understand? If I pull too much on this side, it's going to pull this side. If I put too much trigger finger in the gun, it's going to pull this way. If I put too less, it's going to pull this. You have to find that perfect spot. Understand? Any questions on grip?